every minute of every round, the, the, the Zanjos was just, Rafael Dos Anjos just came out and just completely dominated Anthony Pettis. Um, Pettis tried to sneak in a Kimura late in the fifth round. He tried to, um, he, tr he tried, to, you know, to pull out some stuff here and there to maybe just squeak out a win, but to no avail. I mean, uh, Dos Anjos beat him uh, by unanimous decision uh, all five rounds, or uh, all three judges uh, had the card at uh, 50 to 45. As did I, to be honest. It was just this was just total domination by Dos Anjos, and um, I remember when he when he faced Nate Diaz in this back in December at the Phoenix show, and I just thought, you know, wow, like he really whooped Nate Diaz's ass. But I didn't know how much to make of it because it was Nate Diaz after all. Nate Diaz hasn't looked impressive lately, going back to the Ben the um, the Ben Hendo fight, and just it, he hasn't looked that great. So when Dos Anjos just destroyed him, I was like, well, I mean, I don't want to take any white thing away from Dos Anjos, but it's Nate Diaz, you know? But now he came in here, stepped into the ring with the, or the, the octagon with the champion, uh, and Anthony Perez just, just, he had his number every minute of every round. It's just total domination. And now he's going to be facing Donald Cowboy Cerrone. That would be a damn good fight. Um, Cerrone has fought, like, what, three times in the past few months? Like, he's, I don't know, it's just, it, <laughs> that's going to be a really fun fight. Um, Pettis was very gracious after he lost. Uh, Rogan interviewed him and he just said no excuses. You know, he he caught him with the left hook early in the first round on his uh, on his right eye, and uh, from that up and forth, he couldn't see him out of his right eye for the rest of the fight. So that that had to be uh, uh, what it was clearly after seeing you know how uh, Pettis' performance was after that. That was definitely a factor. But um, yeah, now uh, he's just got to go, go back to the gym and uh, train harder and get better. Um, as for Dos Anjos, he's got to get ready for Calvo Cerrone. I mean, Cerrone's going to bring it. And uh, Dos Anjos, I mean, he showed a lot of heart, a lot of effort tonight. He's got to use that same uh, willpower he had tonight to, uh, you know, basically help him beat Cerrone because uh, Cerrone's going to be hungry. He's going to be very hungry. And Dos Anjos, he, I think he's going to be hungry as well to want to keep it. I mean, he, he had his family, his wife, his two kids uh, come to the octagon after the fight. You know, he had his kid get the ball and kind of bring it over to his brother. Like, he, you can tell, like, this fight meant a lot to him, especially to win in front of his family. So it would be awesome if they can have uh, Cerrone and uh, Dos Anjos from Brazil. That'd be pretty crazy, but uh, we'll see what they do. But as for tonight, Dos Anjos just completely dominated. It was, it was really awesome to see a guy like that just put, a, put on that type of performance.